lovelies! Seasonal greetings to everyone! It's the time of year when the whole family comes together and lots of beautiful dishes are being placed on the table. I can say from me being a kid, all the lovely meals that my mom used to make, oh, it used to be so good. The house smells so wonderful. From the time you wake up in the morning, you'll be smelling all these wonderful dishes just flowing through the house. But now you'll be thinking, hmm, what should I put on a menu for Christmas Day? But eventually, you're going to end up coming back to the same old dish that you're used to traditionally every year. It's the best time of the year. But don't forget, there are also a lot of lonely people now around this time of year. So if you can give someone a meal, if you can just be there for someone. I mean, I know it's COVID time now. We all have to be careful, but it's just the time of warmth, loving. It's not about just gifts. It's more about being together as people, as family, but also the part of sitting together, having a wonderful meal on Christmas day. My mom will make all these special dishes. Only her special dishes will see the table on that day. Also, my sisters and brothers will come home and we'll, oh, it's the best time. It's the time of the year that I cherish and now I cherish it with my own family and I carry on those same traditions from when I was small with my family, my mom, my dad, the atmosphere, the wonderfulness of Christmas. Welcome back to all my lovely subscribers. Welcome, welcome to new subscribers. If you like what you see on this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you will be notified every time we upload a new video. We are going to be making a lovely potato salad today that's always on the table for Christmas Day. If you want to join me in making this dish for your Christmas table on Christmas Day, stay watching. Okay, I have potatoes that I have peeled and I have diced. You can dice them small, big, it doesn't matter. I don't like them too huge. I kind of cut them up like this size. I've rinsed them in cold water. Don't use warm water because your potatoes will start to turn brown. So put them in cold water while you're peeling the others and also dicing them up. Put them in cold water. Otherwise, you're going to get all this brownness on your potatoes. Okay, I'm going to put my potatoes in our pot. I have boiled water in the kettle already. That's just to help the process go a little bit faster. Just top the potatoes off. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Here I have some frozen peas and carrots. I'm going to put this in for them to cook because the carrots are quite hard and need to cook as well. Now you're going to put this to boil for at least 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, you're going to check your potatoes on medium, around medium. You don't want the potatoes to start mashing away. You want them to be firm but cooked. In the meantime, I'm going to have in another pot, I'm going to be boiling two eggs. So they will be finished around the same time. Because you're using the hot water what's already boiled, you're going to see your pot is going to come up to a boil much faster. See, the steam already coming out. So time this, 20 minutes, come back, check your potatoes with a fork. Make sure they're not mashing away. Never mind my pot on the side. See? You're not mashed away because you don't want mashed potato. You just want them firm but still whole. So now we're going to put these to drain. And you're going to run cold water over them to stop the cooking process. I have let the potatoes 
drain for at least half hour because I don't want the liquid in it to make it too mushy. I've removed the carrot because it was big and I have sliced them up. So I'm going to add that back to the potatoes and everything. I'm going to put some black pepper. Season all. I have my eggs diced up small. I have some green sweet pepper, bell pepper. I've chopped a little bit of spring onion. I'm not going to throw all in, I'm going to leave a little bit for the top just for garnish. This gives a great flavor. Not onions, but this one. It'll when you eat it, it'll have this crunchiness to it but not as strong as the onion but a great flavor i have white vinegar a little bit of tartness to the sweetness bring out the flavor in your potato salad i have white sugar i'm going to put a few teaspoons This is for now, I will taste it after and see if I have enough. I like just a smidge of sweet chili sauce in mine. Not a whole lot, small amount. I'm going to mix this in a little bit first. I have some mayo. I'm going to use a clean spoon. I'm going to first add four spoonfuls to see how it is. And if I need more, I will add more. This is good. See, you didn't leave the potatoes boil away. So you see, you have chunks of potato and not mashed potato. This is what you want to see. You want to see the chunks of potato in your salad. A little bit going to be a little soft, yes, but you want to see these chunks in the salad. Okay, so we're going to fix this up that it look presentable. Okay, you clean up your bowl. Looking nice. Now a little bit of Bring on your over left, you and just throw it over the top. See how pretty that look? Mm -mm -mm. You're ready to go. That is it right here. Top this off with a little bit of plastic wrap. If you're in a pinch, put it in the freezer. If you have time, just chill it in the fridge at least two hours. But if you're in a pinch, put it in your freezer, bring her up. To coolness faster and there you have it a beautiful potato salad ready for your Christmas table you and your family and 
any guests that you may invite or don't forget a lonely person give them a plate of food will enjoy this this is delicious this is the best potato salad you're gonna ever eat right that was it quick easy recipe doesn't take a very long time if you like what you've seen don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell notification until the next video bye